So today I had sort of a roller coaster day, which is basically just a metaphor for me being really stressed out. It's not because I had school or I had an exam or I did anything bad. Instead, it's because I upgraded my computer to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Yep, that's literally it. And here's a story. So if you don't know, I don't actually have a computer. I have the laptop, which is the Acer Nitro 5, which is basically the laptop that everybody has because it's so cheap and it's pretty well. Like for the price point, the specs are pretty good. But it's not an all-out perfect laptop. It can run most games at 90, at HD at 60 FPS. But other than that, if you want to run other things in the background while you're playing a game, it starts to struggle a bit. Now, my Acer Nitro 5 came pre-built with 16 gigabytes, which I think is the max for most um, Acer Nitro 5s, which is okay to most people. But me being the loser, that wasn't enough. I've been dealing with 16 gigabytes ever since I got the laptop down in October last year. And... I really, it was okay. It's not like I killed myself over only having 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I could tell that I kind of wanted to upgrade it for myself. And it took me quite a while to get to this point. So basically, if you don't know what RAM is, it stands for random access memory, which I bring on this side. It's just temporary memory or short-term memory where your data is stored in your computer when you open applications and files. Now, you'd only actually see a difference in your computer performance to do with RAM when you have multiple applications open, which to a normal person, it's not that big of a deal. You'd normally have a game running, maybe Spotify or any music in the background, and that's pretty much it. That's okay, right? But once you open one Google Chrome tab, everything starts to break down because we all know that Google Chrome and pretty much any search browser history has needs a lot of ram the reason is uh, it stores your history your cookies etc etc your extensions all that that can generate a lot of memory that your computer needs now uh 16 gigabytes is okay for most circumstances but especially me having like 15 programs open in the background it was starting to become an issue so about a month ago, I went on Amazon and I, I began researching, kind of. Since I had an Acer Nitro 5 and not just your regular wall kind of computer, I couldn't just stick on whatever RAM I wanted to put in there. I needed one that was really specific for the Atro Nicer 5 and even more specific to the model number this was because there's different models to a Nitro 5. There's the old ones and the new ones. And mine was like the newer side, I guess, because I got it more recently. So I did a bit of research. I went on Amazon I, and I bought the crucial DDR4 two 16 gigabyte RAM sticks. Uh, notice all the keywords there? DDR4 two 16 gigabyte sticks. That was almost a month ago. Since it was only sold in the US or Germany, uh, it took a very long time to get it here because of international shipping. But a month later, it finally arrived today at about 11 a.m. I immediately unboxed it. I didn't record any of that because I was, I, I wasn't too excited receiving it because I could tell that I was way too lazy and way too scared to open this laptop to see if I was going to break it, you know, foreshadowing. But I eventually overcame my fear and decided to try it out. Um, in the afternoon, when I had a bit of free time, I opened this laptop up. Uh, it's not that hard to open this thing, by the way. It just takes a couple of screws, which is just a normal Phillips head, which, I mean, I have a whole set right here just for a Phillips head, I guess. But I opened it up and I could tell that something was immediately not right. I unscrewed everything and I saw that there was only one RAM stick in there which was a 116 gigabyte stick. Now, I did not know this before. I did not know that my computer only came with 116 gigabyte stick. I thought it came with two eights. Now, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of me getting two 16 gigabytes because I'm basically paying double the price for two things where I only needed to get one of the sticks itself. So that's all fine, I guess. But then when I started to try put in the RAM sticks, I noticed something else different. It was not fitting in properly. There's a little, okay, I'll try to show you an image of a RAM stick itself for a computer. Uh, Jesus Christ. I'll try to show you a RAM stick for a laptop, which is different to what on a comp uh, PC. But you can see here, uh, there's a little div, fuck. There's a little divot here where the actual stick goes in. There's a little divot on every single spot where you put a RAM stick. There's a little hole here. Now, this hole was different to if you had a DDR4 or a DDR5. Now, the difference between those two DDRs, I don't even know, to be honest. They're just different generations of RAM sticks. 
DDR5 is better than DDR4. But basically, it depended on this hole right here. Now, this laptop I have runs on DDR5. I knew that, but what I did not know is you could not use a DDR4 RAM stick on a DDR5. I thought you could, it just functioned less better, but I didn't know that it would just not work completely. When I unboxed the thing, uh, let me get a RAM DDR5 laptop thing, just for laptop. You can tell here, the whole placement is a little bit different to if you're on a DDR4. Here, this is the one I have right here. Uh, you can see that the whole placement is sort of centered. It's centered between two sides. On a DDR4, it's not centered. It's off-centered to at least one side. So obviously it didn't fit on this laptop. Which I was really pissed about because I did wait over a month for this to arrive and spent over a hundred dollars for this. But this didn't work. I tried numerous times, but it just didn't work and I eventually gave up. So I put the laptop back together and it was still working perfectly fine, just of the original RAM stick. And then after that, I was like, since it only has one 16 gigabyte stick, I just have to get one more 16 gigabyte stick and it'll turn into 32 gigs. So I went on Scorptech, which is some uh, online, um, online computer store based in Melbourne or whatever, but they have stores in Sydney. And I bought a RAM stick. Just one 16 gigabyte RAM stick, uh, DDR5 this time, to fit on the laptop. Now I click and collect at that order. I got my mum to pick it up because she lives near one of the stores they have. But basically she picked it up and I got the stick ready in time for me to put it on just a couple hours ago at this point. So I turned off the laptop again, I put in the uh, RAM stick and I tried to be as careful as possible. And when I first turned on the laptop to test it, it was not working. I don't know why. The laptop did turn on, but my computer did not detect that it was 32 gigabytes. It was still saying 16. So I was really confused by that. So I decided to open up the laptop and try putting everything meticulously again. Not too sure why, but something must have not went right there. I bit everything again. I closed the lid up and I turned on the computer again and it would not boot for a minute, which is kind of normal at this point because I've been opening and closing laptops now. So it didn't boot for a minute. I got a little bit nervous, but then it eventually booted up and then boom, look at where we are. 32 gigabytes of RAM. I know it's insane having 32 gigs of RAM. Now, throughout this entire video, I have had th like 45 programs running on my computer at once. I got uh, Spotify, uh, I got the stupid G-Hub thing, Java, get out of there, MuseHub, Lunar Client, uh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Microsoft Teams, Steam, I'll keep Steam on. I've got Spotify open, I got the webcam, I got, yeah, I've had a lot of programs on, but 32 gigs of RAM, I'll see what I can do with it in my future videos, but it's, it's been a blast. And it's been sort of a roller coaster of a day, and I'm glad that it's over. I'm glad everything's working. Maybe I'll make an update video eventually showing it not working. But for now, it's all good. 32 gigs of RAM, $200 later, a month of my life wasted. Look at where we are now.